and Valentine's Day just around the corner. So I thought of creating a look which is glamorous yet subtle and it does not steal away the focus away from you on your special day. So the idea over here is to look stunning and pretty with the help of minimal makeup so that the focus is mainly on you on your special day and how pretty you look and not how much makeup you have actually put on. It is relatively a very easy look but it is really very glamorous and you can achieve this look with the help of products which I mentioned or with the substitutes of it if you have any. So without any further delay, let's get started. To start with, I have already moisturized my face because I am a combination skin type and I really don't want the foundation to stick to my dry patches. Uh, so now it's time to prime my face. But instead of putting the primer on my face, I'll directly mix the primer with the foundation and then put the foundation on my face to ensure proper and nice and smooth application of the foundation and blending becomes easier too. So I will be using the Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. It's a very very nice primer and I will be using the Maybelline uh, Dream Matte Mousse as a foundation. I have taken out the foundation on my hand and now I will take the Beauty Flash Balm and put it directly on the foundation and mix it well. Doing this actually helps the texture of the foundation. It makes it more smoother and the blending of the foundation becomes easier too. I'm going to take the foundation and dot it on the areas where I need it and then with the help of a sponge I'm going to evenly spread it out on my whole face and then when that is done I'm going to finally take a brush and blend it nicely and evenly throughout the face. and nicely and evenly blend it throughout my face. So for eyes I'm using the Inglot Body Shimmer. This is in shade 64. It's a very pretty copperish goldish color and the reason why I'm using this is because it is going to make you look glamorous but it is very subtle and it's not going to take the attention away from you and going to demand more attention towards your makeup. I'll also be using this Cryoland Professional Makeup Palette um, but I'm just using one shade from this palette because I want to have like a transition shade first before I put on the actual um, eyeshadow. I will be using this shade right over here. It has a French name so please pardon me with the pronunciation. It's called Bordeaux. I don't know. I'll just list it down below. Don't worry. You can use any other shadow as a transition shade. You need not use this palette or this shade only. I'm using this because it goes really well with the uh, color of dress with which I am wearing. Now I'll take the transition shade and start blending it on the crease of my eyelid. sparkle and evenly distribute it all throughout my eyelids. Repeat the same process in the other eye. Now dust out the fallouts of the body sparkle. Again go in with your transition shade and line your lower lash line. Now apply your favorite kajal very lightly just to define your eyes. Now go in with your mascara. in 
and apply your favorite lashes. So this completes the eyes. I will not apply liner on my eyes because there's already too much going on in that area. Now I'll actually bronze up a little bit because otherwise I'm going to look like a pale ghost and I really don't want to scare anyone. So I will be using this beautiful color, it's called Ambering Rose, it's from Shimbor. I'll take an angled brush, dab off the excess. Now I'll go ahead and add some color to my cheeks. I'm using this creme blush from Inglot, it is in the shade 90. It is a very beautiful peachish nude color. I'll take the product, dot it on on my cheeks and blend it with my hands. With this look, I really want to go dark and bold with the lips and really easy and subtle on the rest of the face. That's why I'm using Max Ruby Woo and Revlon's Color Stay Moisture Stain for my lips. I'll apply a very light layer of MAC Ruby Woo on my entire lips. Now I will take the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain in the shade 045 New York Scene and fill my lips with it. Here we go, we are done with the entire look. That's why I went subtle on the rest of the face. Instead of using a lot of eyeshadows, I used eye sparkle because I know I wanted a subtle look but I really wanted to look glamorous too. That's why for fulfilling both of these purposes, I used a eye sparkle. I used very dark and bold lips to actually make my whole look come out even better and nice. So this is it. I hope you guys liked it and have a lot of fun on your special day with your special someone. I hope you have the best Valentine's Day ever. Loads of love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!